内市、茨城町、河内町、震度4の地域をお伝えしています、境町。Earthquake alarms, but no surprises. On Monday this week, there was an earthquake in the Kanto area. It was of 6.5 magnitude and Shindo 5, the Shindo scale, which the Japanese Meteorological Agency uses, measures in depth, and a deep earthquake of little magnitude can cause damage. Now, I live in Osaka, so I didn't feel the quake. And it was unlikely to affect me personally. It did apparently register as an earthquake in Shiga Prefecture, next door to Kyoto, as a Shindo 1. Very little, almost nothing. However, it has to be said that according to forecasters, the Kansai region is due an earthquake. NHK warns at least monthly about the possibility of the Nankai trough. I'd like to think that, like any other soothsayer, continuous warnings can seem like prophecy if they keep. Predicting an earthquake, one day they shall be proven correct. However, one doesn't want to be blase about earthquakes. The earthquake happened about 2 28 pm, and NHK, as all TV stations do, announced the earthquake with discordant tones that interrupt usual TV programming. You are, for a good few minutes, at least maybe an hour or two, completely glued to the box in the corner of the room. The incident is announced. Video of epicenter shaking and a local NHK office shaking, followed by warnings of future aftershocks and tremors. And then, most of the time, that's it. The possible disaster apparently just went away. No major aftershocks or tsunami. Crisis not averted, but apparently avoided. You email, tell your friends you're okay, yes, you got. Text alert warning. Yes, you know. Yes, you know your parents have seen reports through Twitter, but it's all okay. Honestly, it really is mum and dad. However, you're left with one thought, and the thought is this: until next time. A short note. This was written before the 8.5 magnitude that happened on Saturday.